Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Diary of Awakening. So I, it's been a crazy week, and I, um, you know what, it started off on Monday with just, I was walking down the road, it's just down this road here, and uh, there was a dog that got run over, I was about, I don't know, 50 meters away, and there was uh, his, his owner, there's a little kid, he's like seven years old, he runs into the middle of the street, it's a big road, and um, he is, and trying to help this dog. So I'm running down the street and I can feel the emotion building because I, mean, I gave my dog away two months ago because I couldn't look after his energy and mine. And um, and it was, I could feel the emotion. Uh, and I, so what I said was, I said, uh, internally, I just said, give me the strength to be able to deal with the situation until, um, and let me deal with any unresolved emotions later on. Anyway, so I get, I get to the kid and I get to the dog and there's, um, and so the kid goes back from the side of the road. I said I'd help him. He speaks Spanish. He doesn't speak any English. And then, um, so I helped the dog. And I helped him up and I was being careful. But as I uh, helped him up, he bit my hand. So this is, it was, wasn't was painful at all, which is the weird thing. It was kind of, um, so I get the kid and the dog to the side of the road. And I'm in Ecuador. This isn't the place to be bitten by a dog. Fortunately, I was with this lovely family. We walked down the road. We found a hospital. They kind of um, cleaned the wound out, and uh, and it was all right. It's made a mess of my hand. The dog didn't want to let go, and it pulled my hand out of his mouth. But um, I was thinking about it. it. Hit me later on in that day. It's like if I believe that everything is one, which I do. Um, if then by me helping the kid then I am healing my kind of early childhood stuff and my inner child stuff. And, um, and it was funny because someone said, you know, you're the dog as well, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And they said, have you ever refused help that someone's trying to give you? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds very familiar. And then actually, Monday, that happened on Monday. Wednesday was a... Uh, uh, it was a solstice fiesta and I went to the solstice fiesta and there was a shaman and it was like in this um, grass pyramid hut in on the side of a mountain this mountain over here um, and uh, it was it was amazing but you know what afterwards um, I really felt not a hundred percent he he talked about how um, how his about his country and uh, how the seeds of the heritage and uh, stuff like that and then I had a cleansing with him it was 20 minutes long. It was half an hour, and I think the cleansing was 20 minutes. And there was um, he used condor feathers, which were amazing, and then also uh, leaves, um, just kind of brushing and water. And it was it was amazing. And I felt, you know, what at the end of it, he said he didn't speak much English, and he said to me, "You have a broken heart. If you don't look after it, it's going to manifest physically." And you're going to get sick. He said, leave here, look forward, don't look back. And I have feelings about this. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, I've had sadness in the last year, like huge amounts of sadness. Whew. And so I come, I came back here to the hotel and, um, you know, and it's kind of, and then all these synchronicities started happening. Um, I put on YouTube and they're talking about exactly kind of the stuff I'm going through. And you know what, seeing the numbers all the time, the synchronistic numbers, and it's kind of... I went back two hours later, and I walked, and originally when I'd walked in at 11 a.m. to the fiesta, I was so self-conscious, and I walked back, and it's twilight, and I... And I didn't, it was, there was an absence of that, because there was now a trust that everything is working out. And I do, I love the Abraham Hicks thing, everything is working out for me. And um, so I went in, and... Uh, and this was, you know, I had a spiritual awakening, and it was, it was unexpected and deeply personal. And um, and as I, we all stood around a fire which hadn't been made yet, and the um, and the shaman he did the last ceremony, and it was all about connections, all about love, it's all about family. And I identified with all of these people, and it's kind of, um, it was amazing. I'm going to change camera because I usually film with my right, but it's, uh, I wanted to show you the finger. So I was sitting by the fire and they said to us, 
we're going to encourage you to put something that's personal into the fire to signify something. And I knew immediately I had something in my wallet. I didn't know what it was. I couldn't remember. And I opened my wallet and then it just hit me. Um, like that kind of in the guts. And I knew. And I just, I did start sobbing. And I walked out. I walked away just from the circle. And um, I started crying. And I, I mean, really couldn't control it. And then, which for me is awful. I mean, I've always wanted to be in control. So I walked, I saw one of the organizers and I walked up to her and she's a lovely old lady and I said, and all I could get out was, will you give me a hug? Can still feel it. And then I cried for about three, four minutes and she held me. She's four foot tall. Just so grateful to her because in, she full acceptance, which was just lovely. And... I felt better. I went and sat down by the fire and it was kind of that. And I did, I was sitting with other 50 other people, none of whom I'd met before I felt, and it felt like family. And these are, you know what, some odd bods, some misfits, some uh, weird ones just like me. I'm always never fitted in. Uh, and I felt really, and all lovely people. I mean, it was and all there for the same, same reason. It's kind of, to give and be community, be family. And the shaman, he did the final ceremony, which was all about love and community and um, giving your best and uh, being appreciative and grateful. All of these things that I hold so dear. And the time came and the fire was lit and I sat around and when it was ready, I dropped this thing in and um, I did. I felt strong emotion, and but what I wished for it, because they suggested just bless it and watch the smoke rise. And I wished for abundance, joy, happiness, hope, love, wonder, excitement. And I have a lot of these in my life. And I realized, you know, I'm, I'm 41 years old. Um, my birthday was a month ago. I am halfway through my life. It felt like a real line in the sand. And, and this is a a moment when I realized that this is the second half of my journey. My life has changed hugely in the last six months. And I'm now heading back towards home. Um, not home that way, home that way. And I felt really connected. And it was unexpected. And it was beautiful. And, you know, I love singing. And actually, we were singing and ended up, and it was just, there was no self-consciousness uh, and at the end of the night I was singing around the fire with the Harry Krishnas and I loved it I loved it and it was perfect if I had tried to make it up as perfect I wouldn't have kind of wouldn't have looked like that but it was perfect my life is just it's my life is imperfect my emotions are up and down and my, I'm still dark night of the soul every so often and um, but the more I can be honest with myself the more authentic I can find myself and um, yeah walk my path not apologize to anybody for the things that I believe and um, and the actions I do that I believe to be my path then I mean that's self-love and that is that's me. True for me, may not be true for other people, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying my life. Thanks for watching.